Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to solve 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now there's a set of rules, and so let me go ahead and share the rules with you, and then we're going to look at the three different ways you can, uh, directions I guess you can solve these. Okay, the rules for 30, 60, 90 triangles are as follows. Okay, the short leg is always opposite the 30 degree angle, and this is my short leg and we're going to call that S. The 60 degree angle is always, or the longer leg is always opposite the 60 degree angle and to find its side you're going to take the short side times the square root of 3. And then of course our hypotenuse is always opposite our right angle and you take the short leg and you multiply it by 2 or you double it to find the hypotenuse. So short leg is our starting point S long leg is s times the square root of 3 and the hypotenuse is s times 2 so I flip flop those so be careful you don't read that wrong the long leg is s square root of 3 and the hypotenuse is uh, 2 times s or double the hypotenuse so, or the short leg so let's go back and work one of these okay this is the easiest direction if we have the short leg all the rule says is I double it to get the hypotenuse so this is 2 times s, or just 2 times 3, so that means my hypotenuse is 6. Okay? Now to get the longer leg, I take the short leg times the square root of 3. So I'm just going to take 3 times the square root of 3, and you can multiply that with a calculator, or you can just leave it as that rational answer. Okay, let's look at the second method. What if you're given the hypotenuse, and you have to figure out the other two sides? Well, the easiest one to get is always the short leg because the short leg is just half of the hypotenuse. They have a 1 to 2 ratio. So if this is 10, the hypotenuse is 10, my short leg is just half of that, or 5. So 5 is that side. Now once you get the short leg, you can then find the longer leg, which is the short leg times the square root of 3. So it's just 5 square root 3. And there's your answer to that one. Now let's do the hardest direction. When you have the long leg and you're trying to find the other two sides, this is the most difficult direction because you're dealing with a square root of 3. Now to go from short to long, you, you multiply by the square root of 3. So to go from the longer to the short leg, to get smaller, wouldn't you make divide? You'd make it smaller. So I've got to take 6 divided by the square root of 3 to get the short leg. Now to rationalize that, I multiply the bottom by root 3, I multiply the top by root 3, square root of 3 over times square root of 3 is just 3, so I have 6 square root 3 over 3, and the two coefficients divide, so I have 2 square roots of 3. So that is the length of my short leg, and you always have to go from the long leg to the short leg first. Now that I have my short leg, I can just double that, or multiply by 2, to get the hypotenuse. So 2 times 2 root 3 is, 2 times 2 is just 4. You don't change the radical, it stays the same. So the hypotenuse is 4 square roots of 3. So those are the three directions. If you need to stop the video, go back and watch part of it again, depending on which side you're given, those are the three cases. Hope this was helpful.